Hi guys, I'm Coach Delston here from SG Golf Coach. So we're basically based at Mandai Executive Golf Course where I am now and also at Orchard Fire Champion Centre on the 6th floor. Okay, so my team and I will give you a full PC package of 9 lessons that teaches you from grip, posture and stance and flowing up to your full swing until you're able to hit on a golf course all by watching our videos. Okay, so I'll stop off today with uh, the uh, first lesson. So let's go on with the grip, okay. So on the grip, usually we teach a customer three different types of grip. So the first grip that we're going to learn is called the interlock grip. So basically your index finger and your pinky finger, we hook them together. Okay, so this is called interlock grip. The second grip we're going to learn will be the baseball grip. Okay, baseball grip is where you have all five fingers all on the golf club. And the last one, we will actually learn the overlap grip where you have your pinky finger just over the index finger. Okay, so we recommend adults to actually use the interlock grip and maybe for the ladies and for the kids, they will actually do with a baseball grip because it gives them more control over the club because they are actually slightly weaker. Okay, so that's your basic grip. Okay, so another tip for the grip is that we're trying to adopt a slightly stronger grip or neutral grip. So how do we check upon it? Okay, when you look at me looking at the camera, okay, we'd have to have my glove logo here. I'm wearing a tailor-made glove here. So looking at the camera, you can see my tailor-made logo. Okay, I'm on my left hand. Okay, when I grip, I see my logo and then I put my right hand across. Okay, with my interlock grip. Okay, so if you do not see your grip, and it happens to you that you see only see your inside of your thumb, and that will be wrong. Okay, we want to be able to see from the top, we will see your glove logo or your two knuckles, and then we grip it, and that will be a good checkpoint for your grip. Okay, so that's for the first part of my session. Okay, we learn about the grip. Okay, now let's move on to your stances and your posture. Okay, so how wide are we going to open our feet? Okay, we're not going to open the feet so wide, wider than our shoulders for the irons, okay? We're also not gonna open so small, okay? Having open so wide will actually restrict your turning, your rotation, and so having too small, you'll feel yourself very flimsy and you always fall off when you hit the ball, okay? So a good width will be actually when you stand, your shoulders width apart with your feet, okay? So you look at me, I'm quite proportioned now that my shoulders and feet are slightly the same width, okay? So if I have my both hands pointing down to my feet, and then I clasp my hands together and that will be a good stance, okay? Okay, now let's move on to the next phase, okay? Let's work on the posture, okay? Posture is very important in our golf swing because if you have the wrong posture, you maybe have a bad rotation and maybe you get some back injury. So having a good posture will definitely give you a better golf swing, okay? So let me show you a few posture, okay? The first one that you usually see with, on the range Okay, when I see my students that come for refresher lessons, they actually go into a C curve. So you see them hunch their back a lot, have a lot of knee flex, and then their hands are slightly out. So this is a C curve. Okay, having a C curve will definitely restrict your back swing. Okay, because their backs are all curved, it's hard for them to turn. Okay, so that's not a good posture. Okay, next up we have the S curve. Okay, S curve is when they have their butt too much out, and then their back too straight. It looks like they can put a wine glass on their butt, okay? So this one would definitely give you some back problem if you actually carry on doing an S curve, okay? So this posture is not good, okay? How to get a good posture? Let me share with you. So let's check our grip. Our stance is open, okay? I'm standing up straight. Let me just push my butt out a little bit, okay? Put my hands down, flex my knee, okay? So my head, shoulder blade, and my back will actually draw a straight line. Okay, so if I have a straight line here, that'll be the good posture. Okay, so one good way to check is that roughly just one club length from your heel to your butt. Okay, and that will be a good setup position with your back bending forward, chest out. Okay, so this will be a very good posture for you to start swinging. Okay, so basically my video I just covered with you your grip, your stances, and your posture. And hopefully you start off right and you have a very good swing ahead. Thank you.